Welcome back, you guys. Today, I'm going to be showing you step-by-step -step how to go from zero to a million coins so all of you can get a super team like me or waste your coins on SBCs. Now, of course, there is going to be a giveaway and it's got two days left to enter. It finishes on the 8th of March and that's when the winners will be notified. So you've got till then. It's 220 FIFA points. Make sure to get your entries in by subscribing and sending me a screenshot over on Instagram. And if you do want some coins in a quicker way, well... So if you guys are sick of losing in FIFA because your team isn't good enough or you're not good enough at the game, then right now you need to head over to skycoach.g not only can they coach you in your weekend league or play your games for you, you can buy any amount of coins you want and all of the services get 10% off right now with the code PROREECALL. Go check them out below, make sure to click the link in the description and let's get into it. Quick little opportunity to get some more added onto that giveaway. I'll move it up to £250 worth of FIFA points if we get one of the Foot Fantasy cards in here, any of them. It's annoying because that's actually a really good pull. Doesn't help with the giveaway. But now, first of all, you might have zero coins. So there's a few ways you can get yourself to around a thousand or two thousand so you can start doing fillers. You can play a squad battles game, do some div rivals. You could do some of the moments because some of them actually get coins back. You can do whatever you want in terms of playing. And if you don't want to do that, you don't have time to do that. All you got to do, go through your club and you'll be able to gut your club. So you will find a badge there somewhere. You'll find some contracts, things like that. Get rid of them, get yourself to a K. So when you've only got around a thousand coins, that's kind of the mark you've got to stay at. And you're going to be mostly focusing on common cards. Now looking at this one here, we've got Marseille and their rare golds not really doing too much right now. I don't actually think their rare golds are really going for much. I think if we pop it onto rare, uh, go to a thousand there, you've got a ton coming up. If you pop it over to the common side of things, they're actually more extinct, which is really weird. So if we go over to 1.5k, you can see there's a few too many cards there. So we'll knock it down to 1.4 and straight away it just drops off. So I would say because of there being so many at 1.5, we want to try and sell at 1.4. 70 coin EA tax on that one. So that means if we buy them at 1.3, we're going to make 30 coins. At 1.2, we'll make 130. Now because we have a lower balance right now, we're going to take 130. When you when you do have maybe 10, 20k, you, oh, that was terrible sniping from me. You might want to be looking for more profit per card. But because we have so little, we don't don't need so much the competition is beating me right now we're seeing a ton and i was just like we're seeing a ton and missing a ton but we just got a 400 which is literally a min price so on the basis that you're maybe like 1200 coins just to be doing this filter in the first place you just spent 400 you're down to 800 coins you sell this on for 1.2 you've just doubled your coins you're at 2k so that is a ridiculous profit off of one card now a little tip for you guys who are on lower coins the best way to find yourself two new fills Every single week, you can go over to marquee matchups. There's going to be two teams here and two teams here that will all have their players increased based on the SBCs. Now, you might find that sometimes it's only 100 coins or sometimes it's only the commons, but you'll always find four new filters every single week. But don't worry, guys. I'm not giving you one tip and one method of moving on. We're still going to use the same budget for one last filter. We've got Cam, Prem, and Nottingham Forest. I believe they've risen in price because of SBCs, um, just because they're cams and they're in the Premier League. There's not actually many cams, like straight common cams in the Prem. Um, uh, now, we're going to be sniping and selling these for 1.5. You really want to be doing about 1.3 or 1.4. At 1.5, the EA tax is 75 coins. So 1.3 isn't too bad uh, at all there. Uh, we can all... I think off of that, we're going to be making 125 coins a snipe. So that's not too bad at all. Obviously, if you want more coins, you guys know what you do. You lower the price that you're buying. Now you want to do them until you have maybe 15 to 20k because with those common cards you've got such a high profit margin it's worth using those filters for as long as you can. You saw one of those we got 400 coins to the snipe 1000 coin profit off that card that's really really good with the amount you're investing in. So we're going to move on when we got to the 15 to 20k mark to special and Canada because we've got a foot fantasy Miller who has increased this filters kind of uh, density? Is density the right word? Probably not. Uh, but there's a few more cards on the filter. So we've got to continue to try it. Now you've got Osorio, you've got David, and you've got Miller. David's got two informs now. So you do have the opportunity to get both of those. You've got this guy here sitting at pretty much. I mean, if you look how many there are, 18, 250, there's none at 18 really i'd say the sell on point will say 18k it's the easiest thing to do 900 coin ea tax so realistically we probably want to go 
there is a 600 coin profit. I mean, especially with the amount um, you've had to build up to get here, you do probably want to be making at least 600 a snipe. Now, you can push that up to 16,750 if you want to try selling for 18,250, which we will do. Um, you try to stretch the coins there, but it is obviously, you saw there was a lot of cards there. You may have to relist them a couple times. You know, these are live cards. You could end up holding them and getting loads of coins from him going up or not so you know you've got you've got to be careful with these things oh we've missed the first one I, I have to say we tried to do some compare price and there is an absolute ton going up right now so i didn't think it'd be long before we got our first night now once you've built yourself up to around forty thousand coins you're going to do marquee matchups and you might be thinking well why on earth would i do that if i'm trying to save coins and get my way to a million coins but this sbc gets you four really good packs on top of another pack just for doing it and eighteen thousand coins for all four you're getting all tradable packs back. You've got such a good chance of packing something that's going to get you more than what you've put in. I think you very, very rarely lose coins on marquee matchups. Now, I'm not going to show you the teams I've used because they're not the right way. They're all from my club. I've used untradables, and it's definitely not the most cost-effective way. But if you go to Footbin, you'll always find that, and you can always use your own club. But I will show you the packs that I get and the result we get from them because it'll give you an idea of why this SBC is worth it. You'll be able to see if I really break down these packs that you will Will make profit now there's an extra pack there in the store we're gonna open that too just you know for the sake of it oh what am i gonna we're gonna have to quick sell recover in a minute but uh, i'll firm it i'll deal with that we don't really have many recoveries i'm gonna skip every pack because this is not a pack opening this is a coin making video right we've got an 83 there that's gonna sell for a bit so will the 82 uh that is what 500 coins we can realistically sell most commons for i mean there's a there's a marseille there um so he's gonna go for what one point 1.2k, 1.3k easily. Um, so you've got profit out of that. We can break this pack down and, and there's quite a bit to be made there. So even if you're not using it immediately, you've also got some free players. So sometimes you might only break even for the marquee matchups, but it's good for your club. And then for next week, you might have the players to do it for free. There you go, 85. He's worth, what, 15k? There you go. That's pretty much what the market between those two packs we've done. So everything else is profit. Everything else we get here is profit. We've had two packs open. So what we got next? We'll skip it. I'm not going to be doing too much of the walk unless there's a foot fantasy. Um, not great. Another Marseille play out. 1k there. So easy. These are just the players we've done methods on today. So if you broke this down, you know there's going to be more in there. I mean, he's 700. Get rid of him. What's he going for? nothing about normal we'll put him up there so I, I always keep my common cards for when they do player picks now we'll just skip through these easy easy packs right easily done everything's profit if we quick sell from here you're laughing you're you're at you've actually probably sorted yourself quite nicely there so i know some of you will go oh well it's not it is pretty much guaranteed profit like i'm it, on the week you don't make profit you're gonna make break even and you're gonna have free free cards from it do you know what i mean you can't you can't sit there and think oh that's a really bad idea it's not it's actually a good idea and of course the marseille players were already sold so that that it's very very easy uh to, to get those players to get the profit it's it, that was a very lucky set of packs as well i feel i feel we did really well there but we're going to go over to he has been kind enough to basically just give us a ton of my like man of the match uh filters so we're going to go over to manchester united and we're going to go you've got the casemiro and fred now unfortunately casemiro's price range is too high to be caught on a Fred filter. However, if we just go Premier League, uh, United Brazil midfielder, and you go minimum 10 to 50, I'm pretty sure it gets rid of base Fred. I'm pretty sure. So because it's got rid of base Fred, it means if you go to here, nothing there, 13K, we got Fred here, right, that's a snipe. Uh, you got Fred here going for about 13k, right? They're the only ones on the market as well. So I reckon it'll probably go for a bit more. We'll say 13k for the sake of the video. We just made like seven, eight hundred coins off of that one there. You can also get normal Casemiro, and there are quite a few Brazil specials um, available from United. So that would have been a lovely snipe. Now let, let's work out the exact price here because they're going up quite fast. There seems to be a few pages. Have we been debated by EA? No, we haven't. There's not much there. 11.2.5 is definitely a snipe. I'd say they're going to guarantee sell very quickly at 12.5. So you've got that option there as well. Uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll snipe. Uh, I mean, 11, we'll go 11.250 just to get that extra bit per card. The first one, I think we made 7 800 coins. You know what? Yeah, no, we made 7 800 coins. I know. I feel like I'm being a bit like iffy with it because loads have just been listed but they've literally just been listed so i i get like that uh, i'm a little bit of an anxious little man sometimes but 
Um, I think we the first one's easy profit. We don't want to turn up profit there. 11,500, easily done. Now a nice little filter to push yourself up from here, France, Syria and Milan. You've got yourself over to maybe 30, 40k even using the other filters because obviously you spent some coins on marquee matchups. You may have made 100k, you may have made less. But let's imagine you've made a little bit less and uh, you might have made 10, 15 and you're on maybe 55 for 60k. So you've got coins but not loads. You've got Hernandez here, you've got Giroud's in form and you've also got Magnan. So a nice little selection of players. Who are you going to be getting most? Probably... I reckon Hernandez from the looks of things. Um, we don't know what his value is right now, so we're going to have to work that out first. 15k. Okay, so there's two under 50. Is that definitely only two? Am I going to... There is way more. Than... You see how the EA market does me? Uh, 14,750. Okay, so he's basically going for 15. 15.5. There's, there's literally none there, but then we're going to go and see another page. Right, I'm going to say 15k for the sell-on. 14k for the snipes 14k and below is, is what we're gonna have to do it, it's when the market's weird like this i have to be a bit more careful um but 14k easily done if you want if you're a bit less of a risk taker 14750 maybe 14500 you're guaranteed more profit and less risk if, if the card changes price so that you know you, you got options you got options your nsg um oh we missed that one we definitely missed that one now, a quick little mention to one of my favorite filters as an honorable mention because Spain Prem and Minimum 10250 has had an addition recently. We've also got Furpo. So along with, by the way, you can actually do this for Infoms now because of these two, but along with Rodri, you've got Furpo, you've got Laporte, and you've got Normal Rodri. Now, because there's two Infoms in this as well, it's really going to be a better filter, but you can, as I say, just do Special Spain. You've got Asby, you've got Adama, who's definitely not showing up, uh, but you've got Furpo, you've got Asby, you've got Rodri, a nice little selection of players there. And that is it for me. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video we've got a ton coming over the next few days and i'll see you guys tomorrow